I stopped by the shelter after your truck left. Brooke accused me of being in on your little strategy. It was no strategy. Oh. I, I, I made a donation to the shelter. <gasps> Some people say it with flowers, other express romance with like a washer and dryer. What's next? A new air filtration system? A jacuzzi? What? Hey, what are my chances? I don't know. I'm not a mind reader. Come on, you didn't ask? Well, let's just say it's not definite. Can't you do better than that for your devoted father? <sighs> As much as it shocks me to say this, I think that you and Brooke could actually happen. I love you, Mom. Oh, I love you too, more than anything and more than anybody. Welcome home. Oh. I missed you more than anything or anybody. Does Aunt Phoebe know that you're roaming the grounds? Uh, Phoebe's attention wavers after cocktail time. Adam, you promised that you would keep your distance until I finished what I had to do with the shelter. So I did, and so I have. Well, how can that be if you're following me? Well, I don't want to burst your egotistical bubble, young lady, but I'm not here to see you. Oh, well, then, let me guess. You're here for some big evening with Miss Valentine. I'm here correct? to see Jamie. I'm taking him to a baseball game, remember? I've decided to take him to a Little League baseball game. I've got an idea. What if your mommy comes with us? Yeah! Yeah! Adam, I don't think that that's oh, a great on, idea. Oh, come on, just call me Solomon. Plans? It's a genius idea. Jamie gets to have a hot dog and watch a baseball game, and you get to spend time with your son. Come on, Brooke, what do you say? Did you get my note? Oh, yes. Glad to help. I would do anything for you, Brooke. Anything. Adam, I accepted the appliances on behalf of the shelter, so please don't make this into something personal. Oh, no, 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 nothing personal. No, no, no. I, I saw that you had a need the night that I stayed at the shelter, and I tried to satisfy that need for major appliances. End of statement. Well, as long as we understand each other. Oh, yes, absolutely. If I wanted to woo you, I wouldn't do it with matching washer and dryer. A pastry chef on call 24 hours a day. Now that would make you weak kneed. You know me very well. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> you look like someone who has found herself. Did you ever bargain with God when you were a kid? Oh, all the time. If I get an A in history, I'll make my bed every day for the rest of my life, right. I swear. But when you grow up, you realize that it isn't what you bargain for, it's what you don't. I mean, like a catastrophic illness that, that eats up all your savings, or job layoffs, or a bad economy, or just a bad break. I mean, you know, people on the street, they're not bargaining for a car or, or a better grade. They're just praying. They're praying, you know, that they will have food to eat and a, and a decent place to live. And really, there but for the grace of God go I. Well, but for the grace of Brook English House, a lot of homeless people have shelter, food, and clothing. It's a band-aid. It's not a cure. Well, it's a fine start. I swear I will honestly try to do my best. Those were your exact words. The night of the banquet. And you've more than honored them. That her... Her mother had died in a fire earlier that year in a hotel where they were living. And so she, you know, there was no reason for her to stay in New York. So she, so that was why she ran away. You went way out of your way to help somebody. You don't even know. Oh, I know enough. <laughs> Maybe I know too much thanks to what you would call my obsession. Oh, my apology. I confused obsession with passion. Well, what's the difference? Passion is what you bring to the dance. You don't hold back on anything, Brooke. 
Are you reading to Jamie or, or, or tilting at city hall bureaucrats? You're right there. You're alive. You're in the moment. And what is obsession? Look in Webster under Adam Chandler for that one. Also check out uh, crazed, fixated, uh, 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 monopolistic, uh, well, the list goes on and on and on. Oh, but that was the old Adam Chandler. Well, I warn you about something. There's one thing that hasn't changed about me. When I get something in my blood, it's a part of me. I couldn't let it go if I tried. And I'd be a fool to try, wouldn't I? Is Gloria still a part of you? Gloria's part of my past. A past I regret. I mean, for her sake. My compulsion damn near destroyed her. Your passion, on the other hand, saves lives. I wasn't able to do that much for Laura. She's in San Francisco. Um, she's probably alone. And I think what I have to do, and it's the hardest part, is just stop thinking about her and just concentrate on the people that I can help. And say a prayer her safety and hope somebody holds out a hand to her and that she reaches up to take it. I think I should go retrieve my son. <laughs> well, I challenge you to a game of pinball. Well, you're on. Hey. Gloria, hello. Hi, Adam. You know, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Oh, honey. Scott, how's it going? Hey, Adam. Nice to see you. Well, stranger, it's been a while. Are you having a good summer? It's getting there. Yeah? Tonight is my first night out on the town since I left Oak Haven. And uh, Scott here is my official escort. We thought we'd have some cheeseburgers here and then maybe some ice cream at the sugar cone. And if we really feel like putting it a night on the town, we may go play, play a round of miniature golf. Sounds like a great evening. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to see Joe Martin. I'm at the hospital to see if I could get my job back, so wish good luck. Brooke, I've been reading a lot in the paper about you. You've been doing some wonderful things in the shelter. Oh, it's not just me. It's a lot of people that are pitching in. Well, if I can donate my nursing services, let me know. You know what? Call me, and, and we'll talk about it. I'd like that. Okay. It's great to see you out and around. It's great seeing you too, Adam. See you later. Yeah. Bye-bye, guys. Was that easier or harder than you expected? Well, I still hate myself for what I did to Gloria, but it's a relief. I feel I feel grateful she's uh, she's getting on with her life now. Leaving you to get on with yours? If you're asking me if I'm still in love with her, I'm happy for her, of course. But the more you and I are together, the stronger my conviction that we, each of us, have but one great love. So you didn't mind dropping by Tad's to drop Jamie oh, off? No, 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 no. I got a chance to see Junior. I thought you got along very nicely. We've come a long way, thank God. You know what? Adam Jr. is a wonderful kid. He really is. Takes after his mother, I'm relieved to say. <laughs> I had a great time with you and Jamie at McKay's. What did you do with those tickets that you got? You know, the tickets that you win at the pinball? Oh, uh, Jamie scored a pocket harmonica and some yummy bears. Oh, oh. <laughs> I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes. Come on. Don't do I this, Adam. I insist that you close your eyes. No, right? forget it. Oh, humor me, please. Please. Oh, what is it? The Hope Diamond? Tickets at the Scala? 
Okay. Open up. <laughs> oh, Adam. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, no, I saw this. I said, that's Brooke. Absolutely. Uh, turn it over. There's an inscription. Oh, <laughs> made in Thailand. Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep this as a remembrance of tonight. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, oh. What's your pleasure? That's a loaded question. <laughs> Adam. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I'll have Anisette, and the lady will have a Brandy Alexander. Well, you and the elephants. <laughs> <laughs> now, I remember all your special preferences. Hmm. Um, a scrambled egg soft. Always... The bedroom window open at night. And I recall that you like to sleep stark staring naked. During the course of our marriage, that resulted in many sleepless nights. Whoa, Tiger. Back in your cage. We were great together. We still are. I don't want to have this conversation. Oh, come on. Don't be coy. We're a pair of consenting adults. We, we don't need... We went out with my son tonight. We had dinner, all right? It was not a date. You called me. Yes. Yeah, well, you asked me out. That To me, that's a date. I asked you out so I, I could thank you for the appliances that you donated to the shelter, and I'm sorry if I conveyed some other message. I apologize. Why did you come with me here for a nightcap? Because I was having a good time. Well, it doesn't have to end. Brooke, admit it. We're great together. Together, we are a force to... There is no we. There is you, and there's me. Singular, all right? Get your pronouns straight. Or you can hit the road right now. <clears throat> Your wish is my command. What are you doing? You told me to hit the road. Now, so I'm hitting it. It's uh, been a lovely evening. I don't believe it. He left. Second thought, it's not good form to leave a lady to find her own way home. So, uh, you take my car, I'll walk. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'll take a cab. Tell the dispatcher that you're cabbing it to the homeless shelter. You'll still be here for breakfast. All right, I'll, uh, I'll give you a lift. You want another Brandy Alexander? How do you do that? What? Well, first you make this noble gesture by leaving, and then you out-noble yourself by coming back. <laughs> Brooke, I have nothing up my sleeve here. If I, if I stepped out of bounds earlier, I apologize. I don't want to scare you. If you want to play it safe and slow, I say, steady she go. Mm -hmm. Famous last Word. Have I ever broken a promise to you? Uh -huh. well. well, I mean in the last month. I swore that I wouldn't encroach on your space while you were staying at the homeless shelter. Have I not been as good as my word? What are you up to? Nothing. You're not acting like yourself, but you're not fooling me. Do you think after all this time, I think I can put something over on you? I know what this reverse psychology is, this low sales pressure bit. This is to lull me into a false security. No, there's nothing false about it. You are completely safe with me. You have my word as a gentleman. Sheldon? Sure. 